John, firstly, welcome to the Ireland coaching team. You've been with the group now a couple of weeks. How have you settled in? Yeah, it's been a really um, enlightening few weeks for me to see how, how the uh, women's program's operating and I can sit, really see how there's a lot of work going in behind the scenes to make this a really good program and to prepare the team for the upcoming test matches. You bring such a, a vast wealth of experience to the role. Maybe you could talk us about your role in, during this tour. Yeah, so yeah, the, um, David Nusifora and Greg McWilliams approached me about two months ago to see if I would be available to come in and, and help with the preparation towards this tour and, and for these two matches. Probably a bit of a dual role in, in working with, with Greg and the overall program planning and, and helping him and giving him some, some feedback in that area, but also working on some of the technical aspects of the game as well and the way it's um, panned out, so doing quite a bit of work around the line out and the, and the important breakdown area of the game. You mentioned it's been enlightening so far. What are the kind of the key takeaways you've taken from the experience? Well, look, I've, you know, I've, having worked in Ireland before with, you know, Connacht, although it'd be at about 20 years ago, um, you know, I, I find the Irish players really great to work with. You know, they have a great work ethic and, and you know, they work really, really hard in the games as well. Um, and I can see that with the women's team as well. It's got the same sort of attributes. And and so from a coaching perspective, it's really good because they, they do work hard. They um, they really want to learn, so they, they, they listen. They're, they're quite inquisitive about about how, how to be better players and, and you can see today, you know, working in hot conditions here, their, their work ethic is, is outstanding in the, in the work they're putting in to prepare for Saturday's test match. Yeah. More specifically around your role, you've come in to really as a technical advisor as well around certain areas and we saw that on the field today around breakdown and with the forwards. Yeah, so, yeah, so you know, Greg's identified those areas as, as around the breakdown as, as being a work on. On for the team, you know, across the Six Nations, the, the team conceded a lot of penalties around, they had a high penalty count against them around that contact zone ruck area, so it's been a work on A to be, um, to, you know, to reduce the infringements there, but also, you know, the style of play we want to play, we want to get quick board, if we can get quick ball, we can really um, export opportunities and use some, you know, some of the great speed and, and skillful backs we've got to hopefully finish off some um, good play. It was a big session today in pretty tricky conditions. Humidity was right up there, but as you mentioned, it, it was a really good session. A lot of a lot of good work banked. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's always tough coming to you know this part of the world at, at this time of the year that you know we're going to encounter um, hot and humid weather conditions, and it's um, quite a delicate balance across the week. You know, when you've got a team that's only just really come together. You know, the, the whole squad really only came together in, in Dublin last week for a few days camp and and then uh, now we're into test match preparation. So the temptation could be to do too much training in, in the hot conditions and just really wear the team out. So we've been a bit of a juggling act to make sure we do everything that we need to do, but not spend too much time on, on the field. So, you know, the really important thing is that the players have good clarity in, in the game plan we want to play, but also that they arrive fresh um, on s Saturday to take on Japan. A lot of work being got through here on the pitch, but there's also a lot of excitement building within the group as Saturday approaches. Oh, look, it's been great um, touring with the team. You know, it's been pretty exciting. You know, it's historical for, for Irish women's rugby in terms of the first team to tour overseas. It was really good being able to get out of a few days early, so it allowed the team to, to settle in to, um, you know, overcome the jet lag and, and, and you know, and enjoy a bit of the um, Japanese culture. But before we got into the hard days of training, it was really pleasing for me to see, um, you know, some of the little video posts from the from the woman over the weekend, where you know they'd obviously been out and about and and you know experienced some really good things around, you know, some of the local sites and you know around the the temples and the the, the Japanese culture. Brilliant, John. Thanks.